Is it a good idea to purchase the MSI Ventus 3X version of the RTX 5070? Is it cool and quiet or hot and loud? Let's find out. Take the essentials. Okay, we will. A little bit of extra padding to protect the graphics card during shipping. Two 8 pin to a 16 pin power adapter comes included in the box. Notices quick start guide and no more accessories. The graphics card comes packed in a standard anti-static bag sealed with a piece of tape. Take a look at this. Three fans but the graphics card is not tall. And there's some protective film over here as well as at the back. Let's peel it. Just looking if there is a pull tab somewhere. Oh, is that it? Yes, that is a pull tab right here. This is a pretty nice design. Metal backplate, plastic shroud, there is an MSI logo over here, and a pretty massive cutout on the back here. It's a pretty simple design, no RGB lights. Let's take a look at the display connectivity. We get three DisplayPort 2.1 and one HDMI 2.1. These are the latest and greatest connections for up to four monitors at the same time. This card consumes 250 watts of power and it uses a single 16-pin connector to power this graphics card, MSI recommends a 650 watt power supply for this graphics card. The Ventus 3X takes up two and a half slots. Now let's measure it. It is 301 millimeters long. and 121 millimeters tall. This is not the most compact graphics card, but for a three fan design, it is pretty small and it should fit into most PC cases. From the outside, the cooler looks pretty good. It has three big heat pipes piercing through the heat sink over here and also over here as well. You can see that under that fan, there's one heat pipe, there's another one, and the third one 
on top over there. There we go. There is a heat plate over here that delivers active cooling to the memory modules. You can see the thermal pads over there on some of them. Same at the top. And there is active cooling for the power delivery system too. Take a look at that. That is it right there. And there is a little bit more on this side too. You can see those like tiny heat sinks on top of those VRMs. Here's what it looks like inside of a PC. From the distance, it looks fine. However, <laughs> I noticed something that I can't unsee now. You see those white bits over there and over there? Those are fan connections, yeah? If they made them black to fit in with the rest of the plastic over here, I think it wouldn't be a big deal, but this just feels wrong. Once I see it, I can't unsee it, and it is bothering me a little bit. Not too much, but it's just a little nitpick that I have, I guess. Oh, and by the way, you don't need any GPU support stands for this graphics card, because it is fairly light. It weighs just one kilogram, hence why I'm not using that. It's fine. I guess from this angle, it looks okay. In terms of gaming performance, the RTX 5070 is capable of delivering a pleasant experience across a wide range of resolutions. Thanks to DLSS 4 resolution upscaling, you can find a reasonable set of graphics settings to play games even on 4K and ultra-wide 3440x1440p monitors. That said, there are some scenarios where 12GB of memory becomes an issue. But those are rare and can be easily resolved by lowering one or two memory-hungry graphics settings. I made separate videos showcasing the RTX 5070 gaming experience at various resolutions. You can find them at the links in the description below. Now the most important part. How the Ventus 3X behaves under full load in games. Is it cool and quiet or hot and loud? Let's see. The room temperature is quite toasty today, almost 27 degrees Celsius, that is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The GPU consumes 250 watts, which is pretty much what MSI promised us, so that's good, no more, no less. And uh, the GPU temperature is at around 69 degrees Celsius. Nice. The GPU core clock is hovering at around 2800 MHz. What I'm not happy to see is the GPU fan speed. It is quite high. 67% above 2400 RPM. That is very fast. Those fans are spinning fast. And it's not even 30 plus degrees Celsius in my room, so yeah. If the summer gets any hotter, then this GPU will begin to struggle even more because, well, let's just take a listen to the noise using the wireless microphone, shall we? Yeah, it's definitely not the quietest graphics card, especially for hotter climates. The fan noise is actually not the worst thing about this graphics card. I don't know if I just got unlucky or something, but it appears that I do have a rattling fan on this thing. And it's this one right here. It's this fan here. I can hear it. <laughs> Uh, other two fans are working fine, so 
that is yeah that is unfortunate i removed the panel so that we can hear it better let's take a listen once more to that rattle The rattling is quite annoying and I definitely don't want to sit over here and use my speakers to play games right next to this rattling thing. So unfortunately I can't recommend this graphics card and that is a shame because I have the Ventus 2X version of the 5070 and it doesn't have any rattling. So I don't know, maybe I just got unlucky with this particular unit. I purchased it myself, so that's just my personal experience. This is one out of many units, but I have to be honest with you and uh, post an honest opinion. That's uh, the whole point of this channel. Honest reviews. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend the Ventus 3X version of the RTX 5070 for that one reason. I think it would be okay living with this graphics card if it wasn't rattling this much, even though the fan speed is quite high. I would still be able to enjoy my games using speakers with the PC sitting right next to me, but that rattling noise is just killing the vibe completely. As a result, I will not be recommending the Ventus 3X version of the RTX 5070. If you're looking for a cheap RTX 5070, then I would rather direct you to the Ventus 2X version. I think it is good enough. I've used it for a little while and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, this one is okay. This one, no. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to reward my work with a like. It helps out a lot. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about the MSI Ventus 3X? To be fair to MSI, I did enjoy using their RTX 4070 Super versions of the Ventus 2X as well as 3X last year. Those were absolutely fine. No issues. Actually, even in terms of thermals as well as acoustics, those were much better than the RTX 5070 versions of the Ventus 2X. I don't know what happened. Maybe they had to cut some costs, but it's not good for the Ventus brand. That said, if you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon and the links in the description below. Check them out and subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.